All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon. I really wanted to make this video, and I might actually end up making some more videos. And I was pretty much done with Wargame in my head, at least with Red Dragon and its campaigns. But I was Googling, and I came across this, an Israeli Second Yom Kippur War set in 1980, where you are taking control of Israel, the enemy is Syria, and basically, let me tell you the backstory in case anyone cares. I'll put an annotation right here, a uh, link in the description if you want to skip to the actual uh, map. But basically, Israel, shaken by nationwide demonstrations, redeploys most of its military forces in the streets to crack down on the protest movement. Syria sees this as the perfect opportunity to launch a long-awaited new surprise on Yom Kippur. In a blitz attack, Syrians rushed and captured Nahariya in the north. Pardon my pronunciation of these Israeli names. They captured Carmiel, continued south, and broke any communication between Haifa and Nazareth. Now, they are on the outskirts of Nazareth, and with the West Bank in our back, Israel troops and civilians in Beit Sheon are cut off. There is only another line of attack from Had Ness. Israel has to defend Beit Shan Pocket until the tactical group is ready for an attack behind enemy lines towards Mount Meron and the River Jordan. So that kind of sets the backstory. This is taking place in 1980, and a lot of units are not going to be 100% historical because obviously the, the mod maker had to deal with you know war game and its units. But we're going to have Syrian flags, uh, Israeli names on the map, besides some smaller things and Israeli units. So I hope that you guys enjoy. We're gonna just play one or two battles, and if you guys wanna see more, we'll definitely play some more. What I'll do is I will make a future video if people are interested in how to install this, because it actually, it doesn't work on the latest patch, but let's just get right into it, because I know a lot of you are probably really, really excited. So we called on all the available reinforcements, and we send them out to the surrounding areas around Beit Sheon. Now, I'm not really sure how accurate this is. The campaign description in the readme document said easy, but if we look over here, for example, we have the 27 Fire Support Company. They have 600 units, of which 300 are infantry. Now, the infantry itself is not what I'm afraid of. I am afraid of 98 BMP woods. So, uh, around the map, you can see there's more of these uh, things going on. Another 98 BTR 152s. 42 BMP ones. Now, there's it's not even that I'm afraid of the BTR 152s, but just the sheer numbers are going to be interesting. With that being said, let's end the turn and see what the Syrians will do. Obviously, they're going to attack us, and we're going to have to uh, try and figure out a way to hold our ground. As you can see, their point value is almost triple of what we have available, and infantry-wise, we have about one-fifth of what they have available number-wise. And it's not talking about hell, almost everything else. Uh, I guess our tanks are relatively fair. Um, our support is relatively fair. But just looking at vehicles, we don't even have any vehicles. They have 170. All right, so we've set up, I think, a pretty decent defense. I've set up a ton of tanks here, supported by uh, Dragon Infantry on the Tuafula port. On Bravo, I set up a ton of infantry, well, again, with uh, AGSs, uh, or 40 mic mic grenade launchers, and more Dragon missiles, and even backed them up with some regular infantry and some supply trucks, because we're going to run out of supplies relatively fast. Then here on 2 Tiberius, I've set up a ton of tanks marked up with a command tank and 160 millimeter in support, mortar in support. And then these three are going to move to this ridge line and hopefully stop them from going over this bridge or just running past these units. With that being said, we're going to have to do this fast, so let's go. Okay. And now we just have to uh, get the hell out of Dodge. So let's get him up here. A recon up there. There and like that. Okay, I think we're okay. I actually think that we set up a... Oh, I didn't realize this actually were recon. So these are like us, obviously, custom-made battle groups. So as you can see, there is actually some uh, 
some Dutch AMXs in here, and I think there there's like some uh, some American and Eastern German planes. But it's a sort of way for the game. They tried making this as like decently made as possible without it being like super over overpowered for one side. I'm not really sure how it's going to work. Like I said, I have not really tested this out. I want it to be a surprise for me as well as for you, but I, uh, I'm excited to see how this is going to go. But then being said, let's get some vehicles up there. And let's deploy some tanks here and some tanks in here. And we're going to have to try and hope that this works. Also, we're already being artillery and really heavy. Let's get a recon helicopter up here and see if we can get eyes on some of their anti-aircraft. It would be really awesome to get rid of some of those. Especially their radar-guided ones. All right, good. Oh, we gotta get you out of there before you die. Missile away, missile away. Oh, no, let's get you out of there. We gotta kill, I think. That's what matters. All right, they're actually being pushed out of the city by these flamethrowing uh, napalm mortars. That's brutal. We got a... Uh, our recon are setting up right now, so we should actually be relatively good. It's just that this city, obviously, is already kind of lost now, but whatever. We're gonna have to make do. Helicopters, do we have any helicopters that we can use? There we go. And then we just have to deploy these trucks right here. We're basically losing these men, that's fine. <laughs> I say that relatively easily, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's get uh, four squads of uh, like very low quality troops to try and deploy inside these buildings. While these guys are being resupplied, their uh, supplies are now out. Actually, I just didn't get a fob. I just realized that, which kind of sucks, I suppose. These BTRs and Vic's going to go all the way back here. We're starting to put these up. Uh, my Rio, run away! Run away! Try to save the supplies. Ah, damn it. Bastards. Oh, that's bad. We should probably move away from these things because where they mess us up. Let's actually uh, get like two tanks to deal with those ZU flank, uh, flankings. And they're also useless right now. As we're just trying to s Oh, that was a very bad idea. I don't know why that happened. Alright, at least our infantry is coming up. And our tanks are sitting, getting ready to actually engage this little, uh, sort of behind the, uh, behind the lines flank that's going around there. We've held the line here. And let's put these tanks inside this fort. I think these are, uh, Centurions, no? I think so. Now we're just dealing with their uh, AA, and we dealt with their tank that was coming. Their CV, sorry. Lordy infantry, get these guys out of there. This is decent so far. Get a blazer, we'll put them in that, uh, put these in there. This is uh, re going relatively well, better than I expected, to be honest with you. Which isn't saying a lot, I suppose, but... Gotta get this thing to find out where some of their AA is. That's one. Missile away. Good kill. Let's try and find another one. And... Missile away. And... A miss. That's fine. As long as our guys here can survive... Let's get some... We can lend this helicopter right here. That would be amazing. If we can get these guys resupplied. A A A down. Nice kill. And getting a missile or two in, but these flares. Get rid of them. Tanks coming up. We are losing infantry left, right, and center, but let's switch these two around. For right now, I want to switch these two around and get the helicopter to land. With supplies, let's make sure we turn on off the fuel. Even though I know there's no Vix, well, they, they could potentially reach those the, the last tank that's right here. I just need to resupply this guy's ASAP. ATGM incoming. It's probably not going to do anything. Yeah, there we go. Nice miss. Now it's going to land this helicopter ASAP here. Tanks are setting up. 
Alright, AA, got another kill. Or uh, on their AA, sorry, I mean, meant to say. We get some cheap MIGs. Who knows what they can do. And the helicopter needs to land here. Okay, there we go. Nice! Two or three kills. These MIGs are doing relatively good, so that means there's not a lot of stuff here left. Let's get some more MIGs and deal with this stupid annoying Maliutka before it kills all of these Vicks. That's one's down. More kills for the point god. These guys have obviously run out of ammo now. Oh, our helicopter got destroyed. God damn it, that sucks. Don't know what happened to it. Turn off fuel. They're pushing into this uh, little city here. I don't want to send my elites up, so we'll just have to get some more, uh, well, very low point units to try and... You bastard. Hit this, hit that. I'm trying to save my Merkavas for when I really need them, which is obviously not right now. That doesn't kill, but... If I can save these men... Oh, hello. Nice. Oh, it's... Ah, you're dead. Oh no, you might survive. Never mind, it was just gun AA. We're good. Kill the T-62s! Run away! Oh, these infantry might survive! Let's put a Yasuo up here and have these infantry run back all the way there. These trucks, low fuel, or no fuel, sorry. Try and resupply these. Actually, these are relatively supplied. I just need, like, health from... Oh, we lost one of them. Damn it. I guess we need some more reconnaissances. Re I can't. Uh, reconnaissance? There we go. That's probably the better way of pronouncing recon. Oh, no, ATGMs. Ah, damn you. Bastards. Those missiles are decent. I'm just losing my guys to to a, uh, a a stupid stupid mistake. We did get two more kills on their. Oh, we lost nothing. We did get two more kills on our radar AA, which is awesome. I'm just trying to find really like what's going on. What kind of air do I have? This is more rockets. More rockets for the rocket god. Let's hit those supply vics back there. Am I right? And these guys can at least retreat and be healed up. So it wasn't a total waste. And then support. Is there any big artillery? Screw it, let's just get four of these. Oh. Okay, we're, we're still killing them. They got 10 minutes left to try and do something to us here. I need to stop this grenade launcher truck from destroying my little shitty infantry. Nice. This is going pretty damn good so far. I don't know what this thing's doing. Oh, I forgot that it couldn't see. Get it out of there. Come on, don't fly over our spawn. That's where the bad stuff is. Okay, so far so good. I need to pull these guys back. I'm gonna switch these around. Oh, wow. I didn't realize these were that little on supplies. That must be a, a mistake, because they're really low on supply. I guess I really should have gotten a fob. My fault. These guys are still doing more than fine. Try and get some eyes on anything here. Nothing. Well, we are doing a better job than I thought we'd be doing. I was really afraid of just a massive, just like push into my area and them just absolutely destroying me without having anything to say about it. But so far, uh, so good, honestly. Bastards. Keeping the eyes on the enemy here is the only thing that I'm not able to do. Just my own fault. Nice kill. Another kill. Let's 
get more of these uh, anti-airs out. Let's get these guys back. They're actually doing nothing. They're just wasting their time. This recon might see and help out though. Not bad. Something, I guess. Trying to find their AA. Hitting them with napalm. Tons of napalm. Nothing here. Let's get out of there. We're getting uh, locked by uh, infrared. Ooh, this could be bad for this AE. I got him out of there. Thank God. All right, good. Let's move these back. Things look crazy. They're just like Calliope's, really. But bigger and more scary and weird looking. Let's get my recon. Uh, oh, these guys need to pull back here soon. Nice. That's a lot of ATGMs. Oh god, their BMPs are just now showing up. Like, the amount of just ungodly anti uh anti tank guided missiles is going to be brutal that's the issue here i really need to get a helicopter to land i don't know if it's going to be possible we're going to try it out We have seven minutes left, 900 points to kill. Doing all right. They got artillery coming in. That's fair. They can do that. Let's see if we can deploy right there. Take out some of these vehicles. Take out the tanks. I think I'm actually going to have a pretty decent time to kill these BMPs with my uh, anti-tank missiles or RPGs. Tanks down, tanks down, not, not down, but... So there's definitely, like, something in this tree line. I don't know what's hitting these trucks. It's something in here. I don't know what's hitting it. That goes a lot of these trucks, though. Do I have any other artillery? Heavy already... Screw it. We can just get a ton of artillery if we want to, and no one's going to tell us we can't. And... I want to make sure this doesn't, this doesn't die. Ooh, that sucks. It did hit us with some uh, missiles here. Okay, line it right there. Put these tanks back on the ridge. We only lost one of those tanks. That wasn't even that bad. These tanks are still covering. They are rocketing me the entire time, but these guys should be getting resupplied now from the helicopter. Because if they're not in combat directly. But there's so much stuff coming in. Like, this is the 4 to... Or this is the 4.5 to 1 ratio I was talking about. Oh, I lost one of the Avits. It's my own fault for kind of just forgetting about that I have them. Definitely want to not fly over the... Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that was stupid. Yeah, got Iglid. Yasur. Logistics. Another one. Another one. Let's hit this area right here because they're just constantly ATGMing me from this little tree line. And we'll get some napalm bombs as well. Besides the fact that we're going to be like quadruple or, or eight. I don't even know what eight times artillerying is, but we're going to use eight artillery guns on that. I think they're basically M109s, if I'm not mistaken. And we're just gonna just hammer this area until they're done with me. Okay, hit these areas. We did take a lot of their radar AA, which is awesome. I think that might be one of the more important things we've done in this battle. We started taking out a lot of our tanks. And we're just artillerying that zone with all those 155s. I think they're 155s. Yeah, they are. Yeah, there's no more, there's no more under AA here, so let's get that out of there. And we'll let these uh, Millium, or Millum, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, we'll let them deal with the majority of these enemies. 
because they are really, really cheap infantry, and uh, we'll not waste more supply trucks. So, lesson learned the hard way, get a fob, because uh, fobs are very important, and I should have put it down, I just forgot about it, it's my own fault. Oof, one of those uh, howitzers took out a tank. Yes, sewer, take off before the T-62 sees you. Another kill, we'll get out of there. And let's hit this uh, supply truck too. Ooh, some missiles, but it should be all good. Supply truck, down. Nice. Get out of there, MiG. Ooh, very close, very close, good job. We can probably push our guys back up here if we really wanted to. Let's push them like ever closer to these enemies. There we go. We can deal with these Plamias with our guns. We don't even need to use the Blindis on them, but I think we are using them. That's totally fair. Is this not the infantry? The Strela unit? Yeah. They're even, if they even have ammo left, that is. That's a lot of rockets we could kill. There's not a lot of points left, actually. I just realized there's not a lot of points left. That actually could... Nice, we killed the 5-point Igla. 50 points there. 50 points there. We can just finish off two more of those rocket uh, trucks. I would be very happy with that. Oh, we got a, tr a triple, no, quad with one strike. Total victory. Uh, let's see, they lost 4,000 points. <laughs> oh, Lord. And we lost 600, in which uh, a couple of those, six or seven of those were supply trucks. But look, we made them route. That was very important. Now we're going to have to fight the next battle, which this one is going to be even rougher, I think. Uh, the one thing is I will have helicopters. You're going to have to cross over some bridges. So we'll just have to very aggressively defend Delta and to Araba as uh, our units this time with a FOB. Let's not forget that, but let's put our infantry down or our stuff down and then we'll get back to you right again. All right, recon and recon. And now we got to, do we have any artillery? Oh, I forgot. Oh, that's bad. I think we really have any artillery, not like any big ones anyway. Okay, so that spawn for the planes is less than amazing. Although we can turn around and try and get some missiles off on these bastards. Missile away, kill two, that's what matters. Let's try two more. you away because you're already getting shot at it's gonna cost oh this is gonna take a lot of damage off these guys it's probably gonna be really bad that's gonna suck a lot they're gonna be forced out of those houses missiles away any uh we killed another one there that's very good all right we're attacking oh teeth and two jaguars that's not as good as i thought they would be but Okay, let's bomb this and really fast. Nice. I don't know what those bombs are. Clusters. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do I ever need clusters. And fast too. They're just spawning right in there. They're driving past my units. We gotta get some helicopters to help out here. But if we can kill the rest of these tanks with our amazing helicopters and... Oh, this is going to be probably... This is like Sherman... It's World War II American equipment versus World War II Soviet equipment. Oh, this actually... Yeah, well, uh, this will actually be just post-World War II equipment, but you know what I mean. My god, though. A hit. Not down. Not down. Hit again. One more missile. We're gonna get you back to the base here in a second. Missile away, and you're out. Last missile, and you're out. 
Got a kill. Nice. We dealt with those guys just in time. Let's get some more AA killed if we can. There's one way back here. Tanks. We need tanks and a lot of them. And quick, too. Get out of there, boy. That's nice. Okay, good. Okay, we're trying to stop the advance. You have so many units. Damn it, we lost one of our planes. I need to get this uh, anti air on stationing fast. Or anti anti air, I mean, sorry. Winchester evac missed. Missile away, missile away, two away, one kill. All right, next up. Oh, you're gonna fly over. Oh, retreat. Very lucky, very lucky. Switch positions. Got him. I forgot, you think you can just double click on fobs, can't you? Damn it. I don't know if I wanna like risk these planes right now. I need to kill all of their all of their anti-air. Better be killed this next shot! Nice, good and save your life there, buddy. Alright, we gotta keep on top of these guys. Oh, that's bad. I think we do have a lot of nice bombs away, clusters away. Hopefully, just kill some of these guys right here. Mmm, very good, very good. This is more of like a suicide brigade at this point. Uh, I think we should be okay. Okay. This is more of a, like, PT-76 versus SU-122, but it's pretty much all I got to do here. Let's kill these Jaguars, though, with a nice bombing run. Actually, I really want to kill these BM-24s. Probably be a better idea. And clusters away. And some AA missiles, but they're it's the Strelas. Nice, it's a ton of points for us there. We have a CV. We can probably bomb relatively easily. Oh. Fuck, I just lost another one of those planes. They are having- oh. This is bad. Oh, missile, wait! Oh, I thought he got it! Run! Oh, so lucky. We gotta take out these Jaguars before they do too much damage to us. Take out- take him out! Get the CV back. Come on! Okay, actually, I'm glad we kind of lost that one, because now it means that we know for sure they're going to be coming out of this area instead of the other one, which they kept getting, like, into trouble with. So we actually had a little bit of a run-up now, which is good. Those clusters are probably going to be relatively good on target. Hey, hey, Hunter, one down, and come on. Nice, good job. All right, next up, we need to get to the middle here. Cannot lose this Nets. What is it, like an F-16? It looks like an F-16. I think it's what it is, yeah. Missile away, awesome. Let's keep this one in the air for now in case we need it again. I don't know if anything's gonna shoot at this though. I don't think so. I think we're relatively, besides the like little Igla boys, but 
I don't really care about those. Okay. We have to push these guys up to defend this Merkava. Merkava should be all right. Okay. Plane. What kind of entry? Oh, here that might work. So it's gonna just like one shot it. What are those? Oh, they're... What are these? Whoa! Oh, crap! Oh, they're just like giant... Okay, they're it's like a Nighthawk, but different. Okay, I see now. Well, as long as it does what it needs to do, right? That's all I really care about. As long as it kills T-72 Jaguars, that's all it needs to do. I think we're safe from any enemy at Radar A after we just killed every single thing that was there. Which is awesome. And I... Th eh. I guess we got a lot of those anti-radar planes now that we can't really do much with, but it's just... It's a, be it's a lot safer this way. Let's put these back on the... Let's get this guy to land over here. Put these in the thing right here, and then we'll get another Regan helicopter to re to uh, exchange for this one. We actually have eyes on something. Logistics. Let's get a Yasuo. Let's get four more of those guys. Those guys can't harm the T-72. Any Lahut, Lahatut. Sorry. Let's get those guys to engage. And then we're dealing with these guys relatively nice. It goes a T-72. Get some more clusters going. Oh, Strela spotted. Land real quick, real quick land before you get shot. It's an elite, it's an elite. Land, 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 land. It was, it was, yeah, it was too low. I get, definitely got it away. That was clusters in the wrong target. Oh well. Alright, let's run these guys in here. Our recon's back up. Get this one back. Get this one back up. This one's back up. Man, I'm honestly surprised that we... Survive. Oh, there's another whole wave coming in, though. Come back. Hit that right there. Oh, I lost one of those. Uh... Oh, get out of there. Don't know. That was Igla. Lost one of those trucks. That kind of sucks, but we'll kill the Strela. Or, yeah, Strazala. Strazala. I think Strela is Strezala is just the same, it's just a different language if I'm not wrong. Are, yeah, these guys are a lot bigger, come on. Get in, hurry up. Engage these guys already, goddammit. Helicopter, oh that's a lot of stuff coming our way, you gotta repair these guys quick. All right, we gotta get this Yasuo out of here. Hoping that saves it. These uh, Tzezas, Tzeva, Tzeva, might actually be really decent against this BMP spam that's coming on right now. Get some more of uh, Yeats just to see if there's anything to us to kill. Don't think there is. Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's get out of there. 
Nice kill again. We've only got 309 points left. Two minutes. These guys are about to go down, though. But look at the amount of helicopters we just got oh, sitting over here. It's kind of overkill, but... We're just basically... We're throwing missiles on these helicopters, and we're getting them back out of there. We need them to come in, missile, and come back. These Stratos have a range of 21. 21, that's not a good idea. I need to hit those with the Kurnas missile system. I need to just need to get eyes on them right here. That should kill all of these anti-air guys without them ever getting let, let eyes on anything. Besides this one Recon helicopter, which barely survived. Go back to base. We've got 44 points. He's got to kill one more unit. These guys are out of rockets, so... Let's kill one, one more. AA works, too. Any anti-air would work, but I don't think they have any left. Because I would have found them by now. I don't think they got any. Okay, good. I think that was a relatively successful defense. If I may say so myself. Run away! <laughs> okay, we got them down within 15 minutes of their points. We killed 4,000 points once again, and we only lost 900 this time. We do have, we did have to sacrifice lots of our infantry and some of our cheaper vehicles like those PT-76s. But for now, we're going to get back to this battle in the next video. If you guys want to see one, do let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to say awesome. Cheers.